sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install Gyro on a Raspberry Pi. Now, a lot of people use this software to uh, decode uh, A cars and whatnot. So, first thing we need to do is make sure we have Git installed. And I'll throw a link in the description uh, for these commands. Now, I just installed this on a Raspberry Pi 3 and everything went okay. So, this is the 4. Now, it does take a little bit to build this to install it, but uh, should be a little bit faster on the 4 now versus the 3. All right, so we have that downloaded. So, let's CD into this. And all we need to do is type in the following command and set back and let it install. Now this did take a little bit on a Pi 3 and this is the Pi 4 4 gig version so we'll see what happens here. And then still going fine. So it's only been like a minute or two so not too bad on the Pi 4. And we are up to 89% and still going. Uh, with no issues, so we'll cross our fingers on that. Alright, so now you can see it looks like the uh, installation is successful. Now it's just copying some files, so uh, we'll let that go. Alright, so it uh, is installing some more packages and stuff here, so we'll just sit back and relax. Alright, so now it's installed. Let's switch over to the VNC here. So now I'm VNC'd into the Pi so we can launch this piece of software. So if we just go up here, click on the menu, and go down here, it's under the Internet tab. Now for you, it may be under something different. But if we just click on it, if all is well, it should come up. And there we go. So now if we click on Settings, we have our audio here. Now, I do have a video on how to set up a virtual cable in Linux, which we could probably do that in order to use this with really no problem. Because you can use this with uh, GQRX, pipe the uh, audio out using the uh, Linux virtual cable, and into the gyro here. So a link in the description to my website for these commands and I'll also throw a link in there for the uh, Linux uh, virtual cable if you guys would need that. So anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.